to this week's video on the cosine rule and this week we're going to be looking at exam questions and they're all going to be based on both cosine rule 1 and cosine rule 2. So we have our first question here and in this first question here we have the triangle PQR and PQ is 8 centimetres, QR is 3 centimetres, so that's 8 and that's 3 and then angle PQR is 120 degrees. And we're asked to get the length of PR, which is this side here. And what we need to do is we need to go over here to decide which rule we use. So we have to have a look here. And it says here, if we have two sides and the angle in between, which we do, then it's cosine rule one. Because we have the two sides here and the angle in between. So we're going to be using cosine rule one. So what we do is, the one that we're always trying to find, I'd always call A. So this side here is A. So it's A squared equals, and B and C, it doesn't matter which, we can call that B and that C. So 8 squared plus 3 squared. It would also be fine to say 3 squared add 8 to it. Take away 2 times 8 times 3 times cos 120. Now you can actually put this in your calculator in one go. But I've just kind of broken it down a bit. So a squared equals 64 plus 9. Take away 48 cos 120. And that becomes a squared is 97. So to get a on its own, it becomes 9.8. And that is actually pr. So pr is 9.8. going to do another example. So this example here is from the 2019 paper here and it's triangle XYZ and what we've got is we've got side here is 6.3 centimetres, this side 8.5 centimetres and this side 7.2 centimetres and it's asking us to calculate the size of the smallest angle in the triangle. And what it says here for cosine rule 2 is that if we have all three sides, basically it's cosine rule 2 that we're going to use. So in this example here, we do have all three sides. So it's going to be this formula that we're using. And what we're told in the drawing is that calculate the size of the smallest angle. So this one here is the smallest angle. So we're going to call that A. So we're using this formula here. And as I said before, the one you're trying to find is always A. Hmm. And these two here, so the one, that's A, that's going to be a little A. But these two here are B and C. And it doesn't really matter which way around. So I'm going to say cos A equals, so say that that's B and that's C, 8.5 squared plus 7.2 squared. Take away 6.3 squared. All over... 2 times 8.5 times 7.2. So what we end up with is cos A equals 84.4 over 122.4. So to get the actual angle, it's cos to the minus 1 of 84.4 over 122.4 and I actually get 46.4 degrees as the angle. So this angle here, which I think is really like Z or XZY, it's this angle, it's 46.4 degrees. So I'm going to do another example. So this is our third example here and this time we're showing triangle ABC is shown below and we're asked to find the length of AB. So we've got this side, we've got this side, and we've got the angle. So if we go over to the rules. One. So this, what we've got 
got here is it says if we have two sides and the angle in between, it's cosine rule one. So in that drawing, we do have the two sides and the angle in between. So we're going to write out cosine rule one. One. Okay. So as I say, the thing we're trying to find is always a. I'm going to write a squared equals. Now b and c are really these two sides. It doesn't really matter which way around. I suppose we can say, because that's big B, we can call that little b. So we'll say 1.2 squared plus 1.35 squared minus 2 times 1.2 times 1.35 times cos 35. Go. So the next part I'm going to do is do the first bit here. So those two added together, they give me 3.2625. And then we take away, and it's this part here, so it's 2.654. So a squared is equal to 0 0.6085. And a is just the square root of that, so 0 0.78. And it's actually this side here, so it's AB, and it's actually in kilometres, so AB equals 0 0.78 kilometres. That's our third example. We'll do another one for you. So this question is another uh, past paper question, and it's one of those dreaded non-calculator questions. But what I'm going to do, we can do this just the same. So we have this side and we have this side. And we're told that cos z is 1 8th. So although we're not actually given the angle, we know what cause of that angle is. So based on our rules, we are really going to use the cosine rule 1. Because it's two sides and the angle in between. Although it's just the cause of the angle in between. So we're going to use this one here. So again, we'll write out the formula. find the length of x, y. So it's this length here that we're working out. So we're calling that a squared. And what we do is we can just call that b and c. It doesn't really matter again which way around. We'll just say that that's b and that's c. So it would be 10 squared plus 8 squared. Take away 2bc means 2 times 10 times 8. And then cos a, well, we'd say z, cos a is an eighth. So that whole term there is just replaced with an eighth, with one eighth. So we can just put one over here, like that. And then we can just start to work it out. So the key component of that is that the cos z, that whole part there, is just one eighth. So I'll just work this out. So 10 squared is 100 plus 64, take away. 2 times 10 is 20, 20 times 8 is 160, so it's 160 times 1 eighth. A squared is 164, take away, well 1 eighth of 160 is 20, so A squared is 144. And then to get A on its own, we just get the square root of that and it's just 12. So it's 12 centimetres. I'm going to do one more example. So this example here is actually quite hard. This is probably one of the harder ones I've seen. So we've got a, a diagram below. We've got this here. BE is perpendicular to AC. There and there. So it forms a right angle there. We know that. Um, we've got that length is 4. That length is 6. And 3 and 3. And we're actually asked to get the length of this side here. Now, it's a bit of a problem because we've got this triangle and then we've got the big triangle. Um, and ultimately it's BC that we're trying to find. Uh, when we look over here, when we look over at the rules, so when we look over at the rules, it says there if we've got two sides and the angle in between, we use cosine rule one. 
Well, we don't actually have two sides with an angle in between. The other option is if we have all three sides, we use cosine rule too. But if we come back here, right, as we said, we don't have two sides with an angle in between. So we know that we've got this angle, but we don't have that side and that side. And we don't have any other angle. And we don't have three sides on the one triangle. I mean, we've got that side and that side on this triangle. And then on the big one, we've got that side and that side. So what we really want to do in this one is we want to get this angle in here. And because this is right angled here, we can think about soccer toa. Um, we can, if we think this is x here, cos x is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cos x um, adj over height. So cos x is 3 over 4. And then obviously we do cos to the minus 1, 3 over 4. And that gets me 41.4 degrees. So this angle in here is 41.4 degrees. So we've got that. Now 